Okay guys, I'm back with video six and I'm gonna um, explain what I'm gonna do and tell you what I got and how we're gonna layer this casserole into a baking dish um, for a version of, that I'm coming up with that's called, uh, bake, I'm just calling it baked spaghetti casserole with uh, meatballs and butternut squash zoodles. But there's other ingredients as well. So you'll see as I layer this stuff into the casserole dish how we're going to do it. And um, I'm gonna try to get the phone set up in such a way I'm still doing amateur videos and still trying to learn the ropes on this stuff. But here we go. I think you can mostly see what you need to. So the very <coughs> first layer is gonna be, and I brought out the big guns, I got my apron on. I don't wanna get spaghetti sauce all over my clothes. Very first layer is going to be the uh, spaghetti butternut squash zoodles. So in they go. So once I get them in there, I'll spread them around. And then the next layer, I want to make this as healthy as I can uh, because I'm into eating healthy as much as possible. So the next layer is going to be um, some fresh spinach. I don't know if I'll need all this spinach. I just put some in a bowl and we'll see, but I know spinach does wilt. There's a couple pieces I need to discard. Um, so I'll probably use it all. I don't see why not. And I'm just discarding some that has turned bad while it's been in the fridge store and stored, stored away. So, okay, so there's my spinach on top of the butternut squash zoodles. And then the next step is I have some portobello mushroom slices. So they're right here and I'm going to layer them in there on top. They've been sitting on a paper towel soaking off the uh, excessive moisture as well after I rinsed them. And just like I did with the butternut squash zoodles, I sprinkled some salt on them to help pull out some of that excessive moisture as well. And you know, with something like this, you can make it as complicated or as simplistic as you wish depending on your liking and, um, you know, not everybody likes mushrooms, not everybody likes the ingredients that I've selected for us, but because we do like them, these things, and um, trying to keep it healthy with things that are good for us, that's the choices that I've made. So now I got the um, mushrooms on top of that, so this is how it's looking at this point. And then my next step is going to be the, um, my sliced black olives. So I'll just sprinkle them in there and I'll spread them around with my hands. And uh, the messy part's getting ready to come up next and that's when I'm gonna try to get the sauce onto this with the meatballs. So we'll see if I can do this without making a huge mess. But I've got the, um, I'll move it over here where you can kind of see it. I've got the spaghetti sauce and meatballs and I'm going to take it out with ladles and I'm just going to start putting it on there. And I'm hoping that the sauce is going to help wilt that spinach and start sinking to the bottom while the meatballs stay on top. And that's sort of what I envision happening with this. So we get all the goodies on there on top. I really think this is going to be delicious. Okay, I'm going to try to pour some of this sauce without making a huge mess while I do it. Okay, so I got most of it now. I'm going to see if I can get that to 
kind of seep in and sink to the bottom of this casserole. And I've still got a lot of meatballs in here I gotta get out and onto the top of this casserole. And I've got one little area back in this corner that didn't get a lot of sauce, so I'm gonna try to see if I can cover, get it covered, cover those mushrooms. It was the side that was closest to me. So now we've got it assembled. Uh, the meatballs are on top as the final piece to this layered casserole. And then the only other thing I'm going to do with this at this point is um, some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to sprinkle some on top, but I'm going to reserve some of this for us to use at the table as well. But this is just gonna to top it off and make it pretty. And hopefully as it bakes in the oven, it will help keep it kind of intact as the cheese you know, melts on there. So. There, I'm gonna reserve just a little for later to use at the table. And I think I do want to add one more thing, so I'm gonna walk away long enough to grab it. Just a second. For pretty, I'm gonna use some basil on top, sprinkled. And for flavor, I'm gonna use my organic oregano. Uh, you can't go wrong with oregano, it, especially in an Italian meal. So sprinkle some of that on there. And um, there's the casserole, it's all assembled. So this video is going on eight minutes, so that's about how long it took to assemble it. But as you can see, this is a step-by-step -step process with this meal here, but I think it's going to turn out well. So I'll see you guys in the next video.